Yeah, we all like Doug. Yep, online LARPs are a big thing. Well, online LARPs are, are bad, man. I mean, this is good to me, you know? Like, this is what exactly that what we wanted because, number one, like, people don't look at the online LARP that's associated with how Obama got elected. People don't look at the LARPs that were associated on, you know, partly in how what they think Trump got elected. And I think this all has to go back to the great hack. The Great Hack. If you guys watch that movie on Netflix yet, there's a movie on Netflix that you should watch. It's called The Great Hack. It takes you through the lives of a couple of people that were associated to The Great Hack. That's what they're calling it. The Great Election Hack of 2016. Although, it's really, it tells you more about The Great Hack than you thought. It's just that they're all leftist uh, dipshits. Yeah, leftist dipshits. So they've kind of like are utilizing the movie uh, as propaganda. And I think it's a huge problem and the FBI should be taking a bigger look at that. But there's some people out there like Brittany Kayser. I think she's probably one of the biggest ones. You know what? I what not? You guys have heard of Steve Larptrim, right? Yeah, Steve Outrim. Hello, my name is Steve Outrim. I'm from not to America, and I'm not an American citizen, but I care about the LARPs. So, yeah. The same place that uh, he came from when he started putting out all of his information is the same place that the girl, the most important girl, probably in this whole entire thing that anybody's ever heard of. Brittany Kayser. Brittany Kayser. She was the girl that taught, or she was the girl that was running Facebook for the Obama campaign in 2008. She worked with and loosely with other people like myself that were running Twitter accounts and things of that nature. You know, most of us, if not all of us, were volunteers. We all volunteered to be on the Obama campaign. Some of us got hired for bigger and better things, and some of us uh, kind of got shunned a bit. Like me, because they knew that, you know, there's certain things that uh, Mr. Manuel Chavez the Third would not uh, get down with. So that, there, there's that. Like, that's a good big thought, I guess. It's a, it's a good thought. It's a good thought. So once we got through all of this stuff with Kayser and the rest of them, like, I think it's going to get a lot clearer for everybody. Because that's what I didn't like about the Great Hack movie. They were like, oh, well, you know, we did all this stuff for the Trump campaign and all this stuff, and we ruined them. We ruined the elections, and it's all our fault because we don't like Trump because all my burner friends don't like me anymore because all my burner friends are like, oh, you helped Trump get elected, you piece of shit. Yep. That's how it went. That's how it went down, guys. That's how it's going down. You may not believe it, but that's what's happening. That is exactly what's happening. So we got some problems with our uh, friendships 